Hi, my name is Dana Beck. Welcome to my YouTube video. And today, what I'd like to share with you is, I want to ask you a question. You know, do your open rates stink? <laughs> Why do my open rates stink? Well, that was a question I was perplexed with and I, I wanted to come up with an answer. And you know, um, having trouble, you know, if you're having trouble with your open rates, well, there are some keys that you can implement right away to increase your open rates. You know, and writing great subject lines is, again, a major point. That's a major key. But there may be other factors. There may be other reasons as well. Now, here are a few common uh, issues many entrepreneurs face. Uh, but these, you know, these are all minor issues that can, you know, be very easily fixed to increase your open rates. Well, let's get right into them, right? Now, well, the first one is, is the email, you know, is your email viewable? And that, that's a, that's a big one. And, you know, if your, you know, if your email doesn't read well on a user's device, well, they won't bother trying to decipher. They won't even bother reading or even trying to open it. Make sure that your email looks good on laptops. Make sure it also uh, looks good on desktops. Um, uh, you know, and smartphones, more and more people are spending more time on smartphones, you know, reading emails, surfing their web. So you got to make sure that your email looks good on smartphones. And then, of, of course, there's also some people who use iPads or similar devices. And most autoresponders, when you're crafting your email, most autoresponders will give you uh, the option to do a preview on laptops, desktops, uh, smartphones, and, and many of them uh, also include iPads or similar kind of devices. So you want to make sure that your email looks good on all these kinds of devices. And again, I would test it just to see how it looks. And if you need to do some editing, make some adjustments, but make sure it looks good. It's, you know, it's easy to be read. And, um, and again, it, it's pleasing to the eye. It's aesthetically nice looking as well, especially if you've got graphics embedded throughout your email, you want to make sure those graphics look good on all four of these kinds of devices as well. Well, what's the second point? What, well, the next one is, are you emailing your list so often that, you know, that, uh, that you're becoming, you know, you're becoming annoying? Well, <laughs> I mean, that, that, that's, uh, that's something you don't want to do. I mean, oh my God, here comes another email from Joe. Oh, do I have to, uh, you know, I mean, if you're emailing your list every single day, um, you know, they may feel like you're hounding them, like you're nagging them. And, you know, and as a result, you know, they more than likely would not want to open your email. As soon as they see an email from you, they might go, whoop, delete, gone. Um, you know, so try emailing less and perhaps every other day or only a few times per week and see if this changes or improves your open rate. And again, experiment, see what works. Um, and, and really, you know, know, you should really know the people on your list, you know, those that engage with you, what are they interested in, you know, what, uh, what niche are they interested in, whatever the case might be. But again, I would experiment with uh, maybe not emailing every day, but, you know, once, once, once a week is kind of sparse. I wouldn't even spread it out that much, but maybe every other day or, you know, twice, three times a week, something like that, and see if your open rates increase. Now, another thing, if you have a, if you have a list of subscribers and they're all over the United States, or say, for instance, they're all over the world, um, time zones are something you have to be aware of. It's a factor you've got to consider. Now, most autoresponders, most autoresponders do have uh, a feature in, in there, um, you know, uh, called perfect timing, all right, called perfect timing. And again, most most uh, email uh, autoresponders will have that feature. And what it will do is based upon, I mean, they have a built-in algorithm. They'll recognize different worldwide time zones and other factors, and they will, they will send your email out at what um, the algorithm 
says is the most optimum time, which will increase, you know, the likelihood that people will, you know, your readers will open up your email. So definitely use perfect timing if that feature is available with your autoresponder. And most of them, if not all of them have it, I know GetResponse does, Aweber does, MailChimp does, and many others have that option. So definitely use perfect timing when you're sending out your emails, all right? And now the last thing I wanted I wanted to talk about. This is a this is a, a big big point. The last point is, you know, the quality of your email list. Now, if if you've got you know if you've got a huge list, but you're getting open rates of maybe one, two, three, at best four percent, then you know I would go ahead and start cleaning out the dead wood. In other words, those individuals that have never opened any of your emails or those that very, very rarely open your emails, you know, I would start cutting them loose. I would start, you know, getting rid of those, uh, those subscribers, deleting them from your, uh, from your uh, subscriber list. And, you know, because I would rather have, you know, 500 uh, subscribers that are interacting, that are opening my emails, that have, you know, 10,000 email addresses and only one or 2% open. So you want a, an effective, interactive, active um, um, list okay and and again I would definitely you know I would monitor that and what I did one time was uh, I sent out an email to my entire list and I you know and I, I said um, I noticed you haven't been opening up my emails now of course uh, you've got to segment your list you don't want to send it to everybody on your list but I sent it to I segmented out all those which have not opened any of my emails or did not open you know any of them uh, for a long period of time, I segmented them out, and I sent this email just to that segment on my uh, on my list. And I just emailed them and said, "Hey, I know you haven't opened up my email in a long time. If you would like to remain or continue to receive You've got emails mail. from me, please respond to this email." It says, "Yes, I want to. I want to hear from you." And all those that you know that responded, you know, I did not. I did not remove them from my um, from my email list. But those I, that did not respond, I purged all those and got rid of all of those and reduced, you know, now it did reduce my, my list, but now I have a list of at least individuals that are reading my emails or starting to interact, whatever. Um, so that's one thing you want to do because also having, um, having a, a high unread, uh, you know, number or having a, a high amount of emails that are not read by anybody on your list you have a lot of individuals like that it's definitely going to also affect your delivery deliverable rate uh, that's something else to keep in mind too so you want to keep your your email list lean and mean you want to keep you know your email list to individuals that are responding that are interacting that are you know opening up your emails so these are four keys these are four principles or four tips um, that will help you to improve your uh, open rate so if you're you know, if your open rates stink, <laughs> go ahead and try these these four points. And again, real, real quick, a quick recap is number one, um, is your email viewable on multiple devices? Number two, um, are you emailing too often to the point of being annoying? You know, test it out, you know, email less, you know, email to, you know, your list a lot less. Number three, um, when do you normally send out your emails? Definitely go ahead and use the tool of the perfect timing option that will help a lot with your open rates and then number four purge out those you know those dead email addresses those you know those uh, individuals on your list that never open your emails or very rarely if ever read them you know just purge them out and that will definitely help with your open rates so uh, hopefully you got value out of this. If you did, please leave a comment. I would I very much enjoy reading your comments and I respond to all of my comments. And and if you enjoyed this video, by all means, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now you'll see a uh, you'll see a subscribe button like this somewhere down below in this right hand corner. Uh, go ahead and click on that and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to learn more strategies and how you can how you can be successful online, well then definitely go ahead and check out this link. Now this will be a hyperlink below the video. Go ahead and check it out. And um, uh, and, and uh, now this is not you know if you go if you go to this link. This is not an MLM, this is not an income opportunity, it is a training hub, a training center 
that uh, is designed by entrepreneurs for entrepreneurs that will help you to grow in your skill set in your expertise it will help you with strategies and tools so you can be the absolute best entrepreneur you possibly can be so go ahead and check out this link i, I think you'll be very very uh, very surprised with it and i think it'll provide a lot of resources that you can utilize so thank you so very much for watching my video I look forward to seeing you in my next one. But in the meantime, you take care now and have a fabulous day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.